there is a connection between the breath and your emotions. When you are angry, your breath moves in some rhythm. When you are upset, your breath moves in some other rhythm. You are jealous, your breath moves in some other rhythm. You are depressed, your breath moves in some rhythm. You know, you need to learn about this and how you can, through the rhythm of your breath, handle your emotions, your mind. This is very simple. Yeah? Another thing, you know, keep, keep an open mind. Um, you know, the same type of question happened in Switzerland. Have you heard about this one boy who made the first digital clock in America? And he went to each of the companies in Switzerland, tried to sell his model. You have heard about this, no? How many of you have heard about this? Nobody? Do you want to hear about it? Do you know, uh, do you know why the Swiss companies went down in their uh, watch business? Do you know that? No? Okay, Arthur. Swiss company has been number one in the watch business. This you know, I suppose, yeah? Till 1970s, since till 70s and early 80s also they were dominating the world market. A young boy from Harvard, uh, I'm not very sure of which university, an American university, uh, came up with a digital clock and he went to one after another Swiss companies to sell his product. But the Swiss people said, oh, what do we have, to, what have you to teach to us? We are the pioneers, we hold the world market. And so everybody brushed him off, ignored. They said, we don't need to learn from you, you don't need to teach us how to make watches and how to be on the top of the market. And then this boy went and sold that patent to somebody else, another company in Boston. Within one year, 60% of the Swiss watch companies had to close down. 60% of the, because the paradigm, they were stuck in a paradigm, they think they knew it all not open to accepting. You know, there are four things which need revival, renewal, renewal again and again. Four T's. Trade, technology, truth and tradition. You need to revive them. Again and again, understand them. And the more we know, you are baffled, you think you don't know much. Knowledge should lead you to a position where you think, I don't know much. There is much more to know. Right? Yeah? That is the right knowledge. If knowledge leads you to a space where you think you know it all, why should I have to learn from anybody? I'm sorry, you have closed yourself. You have closed your face with a helmet. It's okay to it's okay to cover your head with a helmet, but if you cover your face with a helmet, can you see anything more? No. So having an open mind to learn from everybody from every corner. 